Hello, beautiful YouTube people. So, in April of 2022, my boyfriend and I went on a holiday to Cape Town with our two 12-year-old boys. Now, as you know, if you're a parent, it's hard to keep children entertained on a holiday, but we managed to do it. And in today's video, I wanted to share with you the 12 things that we did with the kids, and they really had fun, and some of the things that we didn't get around to doing that we would like to get to doing perhaps in a future holiday. Things that you could also look into doing. So stick around and I'll share with you these 12 fun things. Some of them cost money, some of them were almost absolutely free. And um, I have put it into chapters so you can skip ahead to the activities that interest you. And where applicable, I've put costs and I've got links in the description box below to all the various websites for your information. Enjoy! Now the first thing that the boys did was go to the Castle of Good Hope. Now I say the boys because Adam took our two boys to go and visit the castle while I was getting my roots touched up. Yes, I did that in Cape Town. Girls got to do what a girl's got to do when her roots are showing too much grey. <laughs> the boys had an absolute blast. Going around, seeing the dungeons, all the weapons, the torture chambers. Woo, very boy stuff. Now, there is a cost to get in. At the time that they went, it was 50 Rand per adult and 25 Rand per child. I will link to the website in the description box below, as I will do with all the activities. Now, a super cool thing to do with children in Cape Town is to go on a helicopter ride. Yes, it is quite pricey. So this is something only if you can afford it. I took my son Seth on a helicopter ride. They leave from the V&A waterfront in Cape Town. Again, links in the description box below. But Seth had an absolute blast to give him the chance to see the world from up above. And of course, how cool to get to go in a helicopter. It was so worth the price and so worth seeing his excitement. It's such a fun activity. Well worth it. Seth, what did you think of the helicopter flight? It was so cool. Huh? And the sights were very beautiful. They were, hey? Yeah, it was so cool. Are you glad you went? Yes. Would you recommend it? Yes. Hey, uh, highly. Yes. Such fun. Mm -hmm. And of course, Table Mountain, the classic thing to do in Cape Town. This is best done on a clear sunny day so you can actually get the benefit of the views because usually there's a blanket of cloud sitting over the table, the mountain. And then it's almost not worth going up to the top. You can get up by hiking or taking a cable car. We took the cable car. But on those days when the weather is clear and sunny, please make sure to book on online. We didn't do this, so we had to queue. Okay, the only thing is everyone else has had the same idea. It's just busy, busy, busy. Because it's a clear day. See up there, everyone wants to come. So on a clear day, make sure you book ahead you can actually book online if you know the weather will be good we would recommend that because now we've got a queue as well do you feel like you're on top of the world I do. <laughs> i'm on top of the world hey now another classic must do in cape town is the cape wheel which i call the ferris wheel it's at the vna waterfront in cape town and south african citizens do get a discount on the ticket prices Everyone was afraid of heights, so it was just me and Seth going up, and Seth had a blast. The views, people, the views. Get your tickets and then you go in, which is really easy. I'm gonna view the ticket prices there. Oh yeah. Again, South African residents get a discount. How's that? Okay, Seth, you're on candid camera. Okay. <laughs> on the Ferris wheel. It's not called a ferris wheel, it's actually just called the cape wheel. But it is a But I keep calling it a ferris wheel. Well, because it is a ferris wheel. Oh, now we're oh, going up. Now it's moving. We're going up. Whee. <laughs> it's such fun. Um, Can we get a nice view of the city? Yeah. Oh, it's been years since I've gone on what, this. It's been years, hey. There we go, we're going up. Whoa. Whoa. Look, there's Look table at the, mountain. Oh, there's, oh, it's covered in its blanket of cloud. It's tablecloth. Yeah, you get a good view of the harbour here. Look at that. 
Oh. And the whole waterfront. Whoa, it's, it was so high up. Look down. Oh, look down. Look at that. Yeah, let me. And you can get a nice view of the city. Down there. Yeah, I'm going to hand you the camera. I hope our car doesn't fall down. It won't. I know. It doesn't feel scary at all. It feels really, really fun. I was honestly surprised by how much fun the children had at the scratch patch in Simonstown. Now, actually, it's not necessary to go all the way to Simonstown, which is quite far from Cape Town, because we later discovered that there is a scratch patch at the V&A waterfront. However, we went to the Simonstown one because Adam used to go there as a child, so it was nostalgic for him. And we also made a whole day of it, which I would suggest you do if you're going that side. It's a whole nother part of the Cape to explore, which is beautiful. Simonstown is a small fishing town. At the scratch patch, there was so much more than just the gemstones, which the kids could collect and put in their bags. You pay for the bags. There was also a cure and gift shop showcasing some of the most beautiful gems, amethyst, crystals. They also had a workshop open to the public, which you could go and see how they cut the stones. They also showed you how they process the rough natural stones and there was also a display called space rocks which was really really cool but i won't give too much away it was really awesome well our overall verdict that was a real gem of a place oh <laughs> cheesy i know one of the surprise highlights of the holiday and it was totally free were the seals at kalk bay now I say surprise because although we went specifically to that fishing pier for the seals, they are known to hang around there for the scraps of fish that the fishermen give to them, we did not expect to see so many and to get chased by a seal. Watch and laugh, I'll let the video speak for itself. We were going to come seal hunting basically, we were looking for seals and there were one is right there, look, there he is, they're actually giving him left of a fish we think. Let's go and find. See, I mean, not find. Let's see the seal. There he is. And a side note, we think we saw so many seals because we went there in the late afternoon, early evening, which is when the fishermen are giving out scraps from their day's catch. So as you can see, this old seal obviously knows them, knows them well, and he waits outside the fisherman's cage. And you can tell that the fishermen have fed him. Look how fat he is. So we would recommend going at about four or five o'clock in the afternoon to that fishing pier at Kalk Bay. The kids were so thrilled to see the seals. And a side note, seals are wild animals. They're very dangerous. You can see, although I'm dying to pat him, I do not get close to him. And I just pretend to pat him. Please do not try and pat seals, please. One man nearly got his hand bitten off. Look at that, we found another one. Whoa, he's coming towards me. And there's one right there. Where? Hello? Hello? No. Careful. Zoom in, zoom in. Okay, let's zoom in. We can't touch him. But there we go, hey? Oh, all this Whoa, wait, there's another. Woo. All this smells fish. Push <laughs> off. Oh. No, he's not. No, he is. No, he's not. As long as the other one's not behind us. No, we're not. We're not. Yeah, what do you say? There's the one in the in the sea behind. See there, that's another one in the sea. Look, he's coming. <laughs> that's so cool. He says you may look, but don't touch. Yeah. Cute. Try and get him in the background of me. Look how close he is. There's another one. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he ran. You feel? Look, 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 look at them. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Where's the other one? Oh, he's here. <laughs> He's coming for the fish. So when I give it to you, you must be quick, eh? I will oh. bite. You bite too. How about it? 
Sorry, Ev. That was hilarious. They're feeding him. Woohoo! Jesus, I lost our ran so fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, look, look. He's coming for fish. Woohoo! More than Oh, here he comes. Oh, 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 oh. Woo! 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 Sure. Whoa! Oh. Woo! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what happened? He's gonna run. He's gonna run at the fish. Woo! Oh, that's so good. Run. But they actually oh, come for the fish. It's not us. Yes. Have you got? Oh, please. Oh. So the that one that jumped up the water <laughs> just sprinted like he almost sprinted for the fish. Oh. He was hungry. That was well worth it. Look at that! Oh. Look at them! Dude, I don't know if it's... I've enjoyed it. They're feeding. Yeah. 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 Well, the, this, oh, this that's all. They're actually faulty, eh? What? No, they're not. They're actually coming for the fish. Yeah. Now I realise what it is. Oh, we walked straight in the middle of it. Yeah. yeah. And here's something we only noticed upon playback of the video. A man got chased by a seal. Look in the doorway. You'll see the man running and the seal chasing him. Wait for it. Wait for it. The seal's watching. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh, how cute. As we came back past, they've changed position. Cuddle buddies. Another highlight for the boys was feeding the squirrels at the company gardens. The company gardens are right near the planetarium in Cape Town and because we had booked a show at the planetarium and we had time to kill, we decided to take a stroll through to the company gardens and we had peanuts and raisins in our backpack which we just opened and started to feed the squirrels with and to our surprise, the squirrels, especially the grey brown ones, were quite tame actually. Um, the albino ones were a little bit more skittish, which was quite a sight to see anyway, just to see the albino ones. And we got a few surprise visitors, aka the goose. <laughs> and we also fed some of the pigeons and the kids had such a fun time. I mean, this was a totally free random activity, but it's something we would highly recommend because um, the squirrels are there and apparently you can buy food for them. So we just had the peanuts and raisins in our backpack, but definitely, definitely We'd recommend it. And the squirrels were a lot tamer than we thought. Look at that. Yeah, What's that, boy? Yeah, Vila. Oh, I'm, Give oh, it a try. I'm petting a real You're petting squirrel. You're a squirrel. I know, they're oh, cute. They're so that's cute. They're so cute. Guys, come. It's, it's very cute. cute. Oh. No, you can try to pick it up. Can you pet him? I don't like getting bitten by them. Some are more. Oh, goose. This guy here, oh, he's the tame one. Yeah. Patient, the albino's look, coming, look here. Right. Check there, the squirrel's getting a little pet. There's the rat again. Look, there's a rat here. There's a rat. There's one coming oh. <gasps> Look at that, look at him. He's... I've got it, I've got it. Yes, oh, that's I wanted so to do that, but it was... yes, so I've got cute. it. Hello. Look, look at this, look at this. He's fully on. Even the back legs are on. It's like a pet. He's right on my knee. Oh, how so cute. <laughs> Look at him, he's stuffed. Look at his face, his mouth is stuffed. Oh, yeah. hello. Straight after the squirrels, we went to the planetarium and the natural history museum, which are all in one building. That's why I've included them together. There you can see the planetarium, that dome shaped building. The planetarium is essentially a dome shaped movie theater where they show shows about the stars and the planets. Some of the shows are geared more towards children, some are more for adults. So check out their website for the times, the ticket prices. I think you pay different prices just for the museum and or for the planetarium. Um, and then they're all in the same building, which is why we've included them together. Both of them were absolutely fantastic. Here's some clips which will speak for themselves. And our boys totally enjoyed both of these activities. We highly recommend them both. There. there it is. So basically, you're looking at a domed 
sky. It's really cool. Yeah, the show's about to start. Yeah. Awesome. So you see, it's like an all around view, and then the seats go all the way back. <laughs> Ooh. A, a note to the planetarium please grease your chairs, they are very squeaky and very noisy. This is Tom Hanks. There comes a time in each of our lives when it first dawns on us that we are not the center of the universe, that we are part of something larger than ourselves. Each of us, so it is happening to our civilization right now. We are living in the golden age of astronomy. We are completing the spacecraft becoming citizens of the cosmos. It's actually incredible. This natural history museum is so big. There are actually like three and a half levels. Well, there's a mezzanine level up top. We're going to go and explore. I would say if you have children, this is the place to bring them. It's incredible. Some displays. Cool. Wow. This is the museum. Yeah. Oh, look to the left. Yeah, Whoa. I know. Look at those dinosaur bones. Yes, it's, look at there. It's swimming dinosaurs. Hey. Swedish look how awesome. Sweeping dinosaurs. Well, they're not dinosaurs. What are they? It's a lot of megalodon. What is this? Is a replica of? Oh. Careful, don't go in it. Super jaws. Replica. Are these real? Life size recreations yeah. of the, what, how do you pronounce it? Cochorodon Megalodon. Oh, there I am. <laughs> There's me. The Two Oceans Aquarium was awesome fun. It is very different to Oshaka Marine World in KZN in that it is all indoors. It doesn't have any dolphin shows or seal shows. It's nothing outside. So this is highly recommended for a day of bad weather, which you might get on holiday as we had. The displays were awesome and super interactive and the boys really enjoyed it. They saw all the ocean creatures, including sharks and penguins and jellyfish. And uh, the ticket prices, there is a discount if you go in the afternoon, which we did. And uh, we were actually kicked out of, of the aquarium as it closed at six because our boys were so fascinated, they wanted to take in every little detail and absorb it all. We highly recommend this activity. This is an imposter! Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at And of course, no visit to an aquarium is complete without seeing some sharks. Oh, they just look so creepy with their little eyes, even though they are amazing, magnificent, interesting, fascinating creatures. Visiting the penguins at Boulder Beach is another top to do in Cape Town, especially if you have children. Really, our boys had such fun. They loved seeing the penguins up close. You don't get to sit on the beach with the penguins unless you go to another beach nearby, but you do get to see them close up. Have a look at some of our clips and just enjoy. Going to Boulder's Beach, if you're a South African citizen, please take your ID or your kid's birth certificate. Once again, us South Africans get a discount, so that's really cool. If you're overseas, sorry, you pay a little bit more, but there you go. So it's basically a boardwalk that you walk along. You're not just on the beach with the penguins. There we are. Here's a whole lot of info quickly. So for those who are interested that come here, there is all the penguin info. But it's more fun to go and look at the real penguins, hey? There's our first penguin and you can hear them, sure. <laughs> Here he is, tucked in the bush. Hello fella. Just chilling. Jackass. It's a jackass penguin. There, listen. 
That's our little donkeys. There's one swimming and he's coming out there, did he? Is he going back in? He's not sure. Oh, boy. This is the closest I've ever been to a penguin. Look at that. This is hey guys. Is that your home in there? Aww. Look at the little eyes. <laughs> it's those fish legs. But he really is posing. Look at it. And as you could hear how windy it was, please bring a jacket if you go see the penguins. The exotic animal world is in Stellenbosch, which is quite far out, but we were going to go and visit a friend that side anyway, so we made a whole day of it. And it was quite a gem of a place. It was a unique find because we weren't expecting to see so many animals. This place rescues, and um, I don't know if they rehome, but they try and rehabilitate some animals. Usually, it's monkeys, it's parrots that people have kept as pets and then obviously people lose interest. So it's all the kind of exotic pets that people no longer can look after. But this place had so much to see. We were there for a long time. And as a bonus, they did have awesome cake in their coffee shop. Just saying, hint, hint. But we saw butterflies, we saw chinchillas, we saw lemurs, we saw almost anything you can think of. Owls. Um, African greys, it was quite incredible. There's a lemur. Oh, look. Oh, yeah. King Julian, here's a lemur from Madagascar. Just like the lemurs in our golden. Good, yeah, this is sign of King Julian. You can't touch the lemurs, by the way. Hello, yeah. lemur. I mean, what if they just want to come up? There he is. <laughs> hey, King Julian. There's quite a few of them. Hello, Lima. Oh. Look at this one. Oh, so cute. Do not touch them. Not here. Sure. Not gonna touch. Oh. Well, that's the closest I've ever been to a Lima. It's this green one. Yeah, they're hello. saying hello. Look at that. Look at that. Little chinchillas. How oh, cute. Hi. You can get to see me a cat here. Look at that one quick. <laughs> He's warming himself <laughs> under the sun lamp. <laughs> so oh, look at this that's one. That's Louise. <laughs> yeah, that's Louise. Yeah. Under the heat lamp. Yeah. Hello. Hello. hello, guys. Look how cute their faces are. Hello, hello meerkat. Check. There's an owl. Yeah. yeah. Don't touch them though. They don't mm. like it. No, we wouldn't touch them. And if you're lucky, you'll see a dussie here. There's also a dike in here. Yeah, we saw the dike here. And last, but definitely not least, the escape room. I will let Seth and Evan do most of the talking and explaining about it. They really, really rated this as top notch. Even though it's not specific to Cape Town, I think they had so much fun. Just close to beating it. Just oh, close. so you didn't beat it? No, but oh. we are, it was a 37. 37% success rate. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, so they rig it not in your favor. <laughs> what do you well, win if you... If you... No, Just bragging rights. Oh, it was okay. one of the easiest. Okay. Okay, so yeah. we were in a room yeah. and we had um, a bunch of like uh, drawers and shelves and uh, this one like dungeon area okay. and it was like in a pirate ship and we had did to did the room look like a pirate ship yeah okay and we had to um uh, use the codes and clues you can to take your mask off figure well. yeah. out how to do it and yeah. there were like locks that we had to undo yeah so did you undo the locks yes okay a lot of them and then the first thing we had to do was try and uh find all the numbers yeah so 
there were numbers uh, hidden around, okay. and that was a code yeah. for the bat. What was it? One of the one of the chests or something. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, it was quite cool. And then behind this one cabinet, eventually we got there. We unlocked the lock, yeah. and there was a doorway behind. Oh. And there was a room behind it. Oh. And it was very <laughs> cool. And there was like a scroll in a bottle. Oh, cool. And a skeleton in the dungeon. It was very cool. That sounds awesome. It was awesome. Nice. Basically, it was just solving puzzles to get codes to unlock the locks, and then yeah. each lock was another puzzle. And then and you go into a different room, and then and then eventually the one cupboard opened, and yeah. we went behind that, and there's just like a whole new set of puzzles. Then you come back into the other room, and we were like three puzzles away from finishing it. Aww. I think we must have done over 20 puzzles, sure. and you got to find clues. You don't know where to start, so you, and you just have to got do to keep going. Okay, so is it together. based on time, and when your time's up, you've, you've got an hour to do it. Yeah. Oh. You also have to do math, and it's very. Seth okay. was doing the multiplications oh. for us. Oh, well, that's good we for you. Square roots. Hey, yeah, yeah. To awesome. Out the puzzles and cool. Stuff. Yeah, it was so cool. Very cool. Okay, I'm gonna stop. So, how awesome is this lunch with a view? Hey, wow, it's so cool. You can talk about the escape room. Escape room! Escape room! This escape room apparently was so popular, they just want to do it again. We're doing it again! We're doing it again! Yeah! What to do with kids in Cape Town? Escape room. Now, as with every good holiday, we left with so much more that we wanted to do. And here is a list of a few of them. Tobogganing, it's a little bit outside of Cape Town. It's in Tiger Valley. There was a boat cruise from the VNA waterfront. Well, there's many boat cruises, many companies that we could have done. We could have taken the kids to the beach. We could have done a picnic up on Signal Hill if the weather was good. And we missed out on going to see the cheetahs at the um, cheetah rescue place because unfortunately during COVID, for some reason, they're not allowing people to pat the cheetahs. And so it wasn't high on our list of priorities, but it is something we would like to do if we ever came back again. And it's something that we think most kids would love. So. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful and informative. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. I must say I had such fun making it. I had such fun obviously recording it. We all did. And I hope it was really, really informative. Hit the subscribe, of course, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.